are The Hunger Project. Greetings to uh, Hunger Project on its uh, eve of completing the 25 years of its work. Congratulations. During my years as Secretary General of the United Nations, I had the pleasure of participating with the Hunger Project in the Africa Prize for Leadership and in their other pioneering initiatives for a world free from hunger. UNFM, the Women's Fund of the United Nations, is extremely proud to be a partner of the Hunger Project. We share the same strategies. We invest in women. I'm delighted that the, that the Hunger Project has taken such a broad view of uh, what needs to be done, what the world is hungry for. The Hunger Project is an extraordinary expression of human solidarity and of the power of the human spirit. I am proud to be a part of this great movement to create a world free from hunger. The Hunger Project uh, is one which enables people to solve all their problems. In other words, it is not a project which has a patronizing attitude to the poor or to the hungry. I have seen what the Hunger Project have, has done for the women of Uganda, the women of Africa, to look to the future with new hope. Already you are helping people in more than 25 nations to help themselves to end their hunger. And as you say in your prize here, on a sustainable basis. The United States is in your debt for your work. The Hunger Project has achieved many successes, particularly through its human development program to end hunger. You know In order to understand the work of the Hunger Project, it is important that we have an overall understanding of the state of the world as it relates to human development and the end of hunger. The number of people dying from hunger-related causes is an estimated 20,000 people per day. Now that's an appallingly high number but it is down from 41,000 people a day when the Hunger Project began its work in 1977. The Hunger Project spent its early years in forging a global consensus. We now know, and the world knows, that chronic hunger persists when people lack the opportunity or are systematically denied the opportunity to meet their basic needs. Hunger persists when people have no voice in the decisions that affect their lives. We know that the end of hunger can be achieved. We know that charity doesn't work. People do not want charity. The world understands that the donor-beneficiary relationship of the past is unworkable. It is clear that leadership at every level of society, including the top political level, must be committed to the well-being of their people. And there is now the recognition that people at the grassroots level are the key change agents and that they can be and that they must be the authors of their own development. We now know that the poor must have authority, voice in the decisions that affect their lives and access to the resources that are rightfully theirs. And perhaps most importantly, there is now overwhelming and indisputable evidence that women who are the most affected by the persistence of hunger are in fact the key change agents for the end of hunger. The Hunger Project is a non-traditional, unconventional, strategic organization. It is catalytic. 
we focus on the human component of ending hunger. The Hunger Project does not have any programs to relieve suffering or make charitable contributions at the periphery of the problem. We do not provide any direct relief, such as food aid. What the Hunger Project does do is we identify the conditions in a society that give rise to the persistence of hunger. We then create strategies to make known, directly intervene, and transform those conditions. My name is Reina Ortiz Concha. I am 28 years old. I'm from the state of Oaxaca. I have nine brothers and sisters. We are Mestecos. Our indigenous language is Mesteco. And I'm a volunteer for the Hunger Project. In the Hunger Project, I have learned to help people stop thinking that someone from the outside is going to come and solve their problems. It is work getting people to understand. But when they finally realize that it is up to them, that no one is going to come and fix things, suddenly, people begin to rethink their lives. When someone takes my VCA workshop, it lifts their spirits. That is what the Hunger Project is. For me, it is a tool that helps me fight, that helps me fight against hunger. We knew we were hungry, but we always focus on the hunger for food. I did not realize that there was more than just the hunger for food. There is the hunger for actually solving our problems. Now it is different. We know that we can combat hunger, not by depending on someone else or by waiting for someone to bring us charity. Now we know that we're capable of solving our own problems. This is my Oaxaca. In two years, I see it all being productive. Already we're enjoying more vegetables that we've grown. We're going to produce much more in the years ahead, especially the areas where we have done VCA workshops. Let me tell you about one woman who took my VCA workshop. She's now working very hard to improve her life. She said, I am going to do it for my daughter and for my family and for me. I am very glad I met the Hunger Project. It is like a miracle. A miracle has come true. We as a human family are at a critical decision point. We can either continue the persistence of this condition or we can empower women. Now if you and I can stay up online for just a moment or two, another moment or two, we will have had the privilege of being the catalyst for one of humanity's greatest achievement. The name of the game is simple. We invest in people and we empower people.